All right, guys, so in this example, we have a polytropic process in a piston cylinder assembly. So our working agent is R134A, and we have two kilograms of mass, and we're gonna undergo process one to two. So once again, this is a polytropic process, which just means that P1, V1 to the N is equal to P2, V2 to the N, and P is pressure and V is volume, N is your polytropic index, and it changes value depending on a couple of properties. So if you have an isobaric process, so if you have P1 equal to P2, then your polytropic index is equal to zero. Now, if you have an isometric process, so if you have V1 equal to V2, then you have a polytropic index of positive or negative infinity. And it's important that we actually do get the correct n value or polytropic index because we do need it to find the work of a polytropic process. Essentially, the cases are if the polytropic index equals 1, you would find work via this expression. And if work is not equal to 1, or if polytropic index is not equal to 1, you'd find work using this expression. So to solve for the polytropic index, I'm going to go ahead and manipulate this expression right over here by putting all of the v's on one side and the p's on the other side. So on the left side, I'm going to have v1 to the n over v2 to the n equals p2 over p1. Now remember that the variable that I'm interested in is n, so I'm going to have to take the natural log of both sides to solve for it. Now if I apply the power rule on the left, then I'll have n ln v1 over v2. And on the right side, if I apply the quotient rule, I'll have ln p2 minus ln p1. And now I'm going to solve for n by dividing both sides by the natural log of v1 over v2. And we'll have n equals natural log of p2 minus natural log of p1. And we're going to divide that by the natural log of v1 over v2, which I'm just going to apply the quotient rule to that as well. And you're going to have the natural log of v1 minus the natural log of v2. So this here is your expression for finding the um, polytropic index. So now the next thing we're going to have to do is plug in our given. So we'll have this polytropic index formula equal to the natural log of P2, which is 12 bar. I'm going to convert everything into kilopascals, by the way. So I just multiply it by 100. So I'll have 1200 kilopascals minus the natural log of 200 kilopascals divided by. And now it's going to be the natural log of volume one, which we don't actually have. However, at state one, we're told that we do have a saturated vapor and we have that two bar. So I'm going to turn to the saturated table. And if I go to two bar and saturated vapor VG, we see that we have a specific volume of 0 0.0993. So at one, we have a V1 of 0 0.0993 meters cubed per kilogram. Remember that volume is equal to mass times specific volume, which equals 2 times 0 0.0993. So that means that our V1 equals 0 0.1986 cubic meters. So we can plug that into here, 0 0.1986 minus the natural log of V2. So same thing with V2. So at V2, we have 80 degrees Celsius and 12 bar. So let's see where we are on the properties table with that. So at 12 bar, we have a saturation temperature of 46 Celsius. So we're way above that at 80. So let's turn to the superheated table. So if we go to 12 bar and 80 degrees Celsius, our specific volume is 0 0.02051. So we'll have at 2 V2 equals 0 0.02051 cubic meters per kilogram. Once again, just find the volume. So if you multiply it by the mass, you're going to have 0 0.02051. I know I switched up the order here, but it's pretty simple math. You'll have that the specific volume at 2 
or sorry, the uh, bulk volume at two equals 0 0.041 cubic meters. And I'll actually add the fourth decimal place with the two at the end. So 0 0.0412 cubic meters. So now we can plug that into our expression here on the right. So 0 0.0412. Now, if you plug in this expression right over here into your calculator, you'll have your polytropic index n equal to 1.1392. As a result, that means that you'll be using the top expression here for work rather than the bottom because your polytropic index is not equal to 1. So now let's just go ahead and plug in our numbers. So we'll have the work equals 1200 kilopascals times 0 0.0. 412 cubic meters minus 200 kilopascals times the volume 1, which is 0 0.1986. And you can divide all that by 1 minus n, which would be 1 minus 1.1392. Plug all that in your calculator and you'll have the, the work for process 1 to 2 equals negative 69.83 kilojoules.